What's going on guys, it's Sam here today. I'm gonna to be giving you five NoFap tips that you can use and that have helped me along my NoFap journey. These tips may sound pretty simple at first, but if you do them over a long period of time, they're really gonna help you out. And without further ado, let's get into it. Tip baby. number one is to meditate every single day. So um, when I first started NoFap, I hardly ever meditated and it really um, affected my hormones because I was always on edge, always pissed off, always angry at the world. But that's not what you want to do. You want to take at least five to 10 minutes every day and just meditate. It doesn't have to be anything superficial. Just simply just focus on your breathing. So just, just like that. For five to 10 minutes every single day, I promise you it'll clear your mind and you'll be in a lot better state of mind and have mental clarity after you do that. Meditate, bro. The second tip I have, that's actually four, but you know what I mean. Second tip I have is to set goals for yourself every single month. So for me, what I personally do, I have a list of five to 10 goals that I have for myself every single month. Um, they don't have to be anything super crazy. So like for example, uh, mine is just to post two videos a week on social media, so on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Also, uh, a second goal that I have is just to have perfect attendance at work. So uh, you don't have to be too hard on yourself. Uh, maybe for someone who's kind of introverted like I am, um, a goal can be to go to at least four social events that week, uh, just to get outside your comfort zone. So these are things that you wanna do every single week that'll help you out. And um, it really keeps your mind organized as well, because um, if you don't have an organized mind, you're gonna be all over the place. That is not what you want. You want to stay organized every single week and um, setting goals is the best way to do that. Tip number three is to reward yourself every single week. So what I mean by this is at the end of the week, you need to reward yourself with a favorite treat that you like. So it could be your favorite snack or that favorite video game that you like. Something other than PMO that you can reward yourself with. Um, and the reason for this is because if you're too hard on yourself, and you're just always just focused on setting goals or, oh, I'm gonna do this, so oh, I'm gonna approach this girl, and oh, I'm gonna be pissed off at this person. No, you need to reward yourself because if you're too hard on yourself, um, that's gonna be unsustainable and you're most likely gonna relapse. And I can tell you that from experience. So you need to reward yourself with a treat that can get your mind off your NoFap goals and that can keep you honest. and. What I mean by that is you need to be honest with your mental health and how you take care of yourself and how you value yourself every single week and every single day of your life because you only live once and you need to make your happiness a priority as well. So take care of yourself, man. The fourth tip I have is realizing that no fap is not everything. So what I mean by this is you still have to abide by the same rules as everyone else. You still gotta pay your rent, you still gotta go to the grocery store, you still gotta put gas, we still have to eat and sleep, just like everyone else, obviously, because there's gonna be times where you're gonna have huge amounts of energy and testosterone um, that you're gonna think very, very highly of yourself, which is great, that's what you want, but you need to make the realization at times that, you know what, uh, maybe this isn't the right situation to have this mindset, um, but what can I do to set a goal for this? Uh, maybe this isn't the right time for me to do this as an adult. I still gotta be the mature person about this. So um, you have to adapt to every situation that you're in and use NoFap to your advantage, but use your goals in a way that can help you better do that. So remember that, bro. The fifth and final tip I have is to put your phone away. Uh, because for me personally, um, I get most of my edges if I have too much screen time, primarily from my cell phone. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put it in the other room for a couple hours and just not even worry about it. Um, because un unless I have to really use it for work or if I know I'm getting an important text or phone call from someone, um, I don't need it. And that goes for everyone in my opinion in society. Um, because we live in a society where it's uh, used for everything. But um, I personally think that phones are the main reason why people relapse and how people get addicted to pornography. So um, that's a tip that helps me and I think it's gonna really help you a lot if you apply it. 
uh, once you kind of feel yourself uh, edging or just getting too attached to one uh, picture or video or whatever, you need to catch yourself and uh, just put your phone in the other room and just walk away. Don't even hesitate. Just put it in the other room and just find something else productive to do. Um, go do some push-ups, go read a book, um, go play your guitar. If you play an instrument, uh, go play that instrument. Uh, but just get your mind off of that. So that's really, really important, especially with edging and especially before you go to bed. So um, for me, before I go to bed, I don't even get on my phone. I just uh, put it in the charging dock and just leave it there. And then I just go straight to bed. So that helps me. Uh, and I think it's gonna help you as well if you really apply that. That way you can uh, really get your mind cleared and that way you can uh, limit your screen time. So get rid of that phone, bro. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time.